couple years. He is so much near his peak, and Whitaker is going to get it back, you know, one more time. Yeah, I think he's going to suck it up for one big effort, too. I just want to see the best fight in the best. Who cares about the titles anymore? Just give me that for once, you know. Well, you're going to get it that night, April 12th. Big, big fights coming up for Top Rank, Direct TV. Don't forget, before that, too, March 22nd, big fight with <laughs> Gennaro Hernandez and Azuma Nelson fighting for the 130-pound championship, and that's going to be a tremendous bout. All right, but let's uh, go ahead with what's ahead of us here tonight as we go into the second of our three Mayweather bouts tonight. This one will feature Jazzy Jeff Mayweather, who we just heard from, as he takes on Eric Jakubowski, who himself is, is in a brother act because his brother Marty has uh, kind of overshadowed Eric along the way as we take a look at the number breakdown. As you see, Eric, eight years younger and has a three-inch height advantage, but uh, strangely, the reach advantage goes to Jeff Mayweather by uh, three inches. And they'll be contesting it by Michigan rules. Ten points to the winner of a round. Three knockdowns and one round ends it. A standing eight would count as one of those, and a fighter could be stopped. The fighter could be saved by the bell in the last round only. Only the referee can stop the fight, and the butt rule is half the rounds. All right, so that's the rules that the fight will be contested under, and now we'll hear the official introductions from Mark Barrow. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is now scheduled for eight rounds in the lightweight division. Your referee for this event from Grand Rapids, Michigan, Dan Kelly. Introducing now the principals first in the blue corner to my left, wearing the dark blue trunks with red and white trim, weighing in at 139 pounds, professional record, 12 victories, three defeats, Three wins by way of knockout. He hails from Whiting, Indiana. Here is Eric Jakubowski. Jakubowski. His opponent in the red corner, wearing the black trunks, weighing 139 and one half pounds. His professional record, 31 victories, 10 defeats, five draws, 10 wins by way of knockout. He is yet another hero hailing from Grand Rapids, Michigan, now making his home in Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is Jazzy Jeff Mayweather. Mayweather. Eight rounds, lightweights. Let me have him. Let me have him. We're going to do that again, right? Okay, you guys both uh, received your uh, uh, instructions in the dressing room. In case of a knockdown, go to the furthest neutral corner. Don't come out till I call you out, all right? Any questions? Let's touch them up and get it on. Touch them up, let's go. And you can see that pronounced height advantage that Jack Kubowski possesses as he gets ready for his bout now with Jeff Mayweather, the kid who's been around for a long time. You're looking at him now. He has fought many of the best in his uh, division, including Oscar De La Hoya as De La Hoya was coming up the ladder before he became a world champion. As we go into round one, it's uh, Jeff Mayweather in the black trunks and the blue trunks. It's Eric Jakubowski with the red uh, trim down the side. Jakubowski's brother, Marty Jakubowski, veteran of over 100 fights, including a couple of world title shots. And so Eric... Uh, has not been as prolific as his brother in terms of number of fights. It would be impossible. His brother fought 35 times in 1993. <laughs> <laughs> they have a register of people he didn't fight that year, and that was shorter. <laughs> didn't lose any fights either. I'm Rich Murata, along with Dave Bontempo and Tony Page. And Tony, when we talked to Jeff last night, he was very candid about it when he asked him how he assessed his career at this point he said well my career is coming to a close and you know he, but he's very he was very smart the way he handled himself he's not bitter that he didn't get the title I, I like the one thing he said though if he had to do it over he would have picked and chose ducked and dodged and became champ <laughs> I like that all he needed was some management there he said which is uh, now the way to go, if you don't have the management and you can't make all those big decisions, it is very hard to get the right fights at also, the right time. He's also a rarity in boxing. He's a college grad. And that means that you can go to college and box, believe it or not. Western Michigan University for Jeff Mayweather. Eric says he hits harder than his brother, Marty, and frankly, most fighters hit harder than <laughs> 
<laughs> but Eric's only got three knockouts in 16 fights, so he has yet to prove it, I guess. He said, though, he's not looking for a, a slugfest. He needs to stay relaxed, he says in his bout, and that tense up. Well, he does need to utilize the reach. Get out, get the jab going. Nice little right hand by Mayweather over the top. Despite an eight rounder. Mayweather trying to crunch some left hooks in there. Able to get inside the jam of Jakubowski and do that. You look at Roger, you look at Jeff. They're both well trained, well taught. They throw the right punches, nothing sloppy. In the Mayweather family, you learn jabbing by osmosis. upright right now. And Mayweather getting a little bit bold now coming forward as we come to the final seconds of round number one. Stop. Round one in the books and there you see a shot of the very nice crowd here on hand. Been very enthusiastic crowd at the stadium arena, the historic stadium arena here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Don't find many arenas like this in this country anymore. So in these big, huge sky boxes, everything like that, this is gritty. This is boxing, what it used to be all about. I guess they don't want us to hear. <laughs> Apparently not. They're whispering in the air. <laughs> they are aware of technical advancements yes. and that we are going to eavesdrop here. You know, the first person I saw whispering was Kevin Rooney when he used to whisper into the ear of Mike Tyson yep. uh, in the corner. Right, we'll get ready now for round number two. And this is the second round scheduled for eight. Junior welterweight bout, basically. Take a look at the weights of the two fighters. Jack Abowski, 12 and 3. He got here, and they have the record for him at 12 and 4, and he was very concerned. He goes, I don't understand why they have me 12 and 4. I've only lost three fights. So we, we took the record out, and we started looking down it, and saw that in 1993, they had him being knocked out by his brother, <laughs> Marty, in five rounds. Was that, was that, that was, in the living room? That was, <laughs> you have to remember, that was Marty's year. <laughs> You well, would tend to believe it in 1993. Well, apparently that fight in the living room counted on the <laughs> official record. I guess he took a standing eight count and went to his room. <laughs> but Eric thought it was interesting. He said, you know, we're both brothers, he and his opponent, Jeff Mayweather, tonight. We're both uh, fighters who basically existed in the, their brother's shadows as uh, fighters. And you can see the demeanor of both fighters lends itself to that, too. They are not overly flashy they are simply quietly confident fighters not a lot of sloppy punches very very smooth from both guys you know that was such a sensational show too that uh, mayweather or roger put on with miranda in the first fight that's got to be a little tough coming out here for the next fight, trying to follow that. He's the older. He should have told Floyd, I think you better go right now. <laughs> I'll fight later. You know, Jeff Mayweather has been one of those guys, uh, Tony, where it's like he can beat all the club fighters around. He can beat all those guys that you, you see weekly in fights that maybe aren't in the top five or six ranked fighters, but when he has faced that top guy, and he's faced that, uh, that De La Hoya or a, a Todd Foster or a Joey Gamash. He, he hasn't been able to get over the hump of those guys to be, you know, a very top contender or a world champion. And he said he took the Gamash fight on two days' notice. And, you, know, you can't really prepare for anybody on two days' notice. You can get to a certain ability level, too, and be exceptional. But that championship level is another big hurdle, and you can be a fine fighter without ever getting over the top talk about stepping up but if there's no level to step up to you just can't 
As we move into the final half minute of round number two, Mayweather trying to pour it on, just missing with that right hand and a pretty good exchange between the two fighters. And uh, Mayweather showing some of the uh, reaction to Rogers' knockout. He wants to go out and be a little bit more intense himself. This is a slight departure from his style. Good counter right by Mayweather. Two rounds down, back into the corner with Eric Jakubowski. You're, you're up a little straight. You're throwing the jab right hand. You've got to come back with that left hook. Come on back with it. Come on back with the left hook behind that right hand. Stay down in the pocket and go both ways. Both ways. Mayweather missed wildly once in a while, trying for the home run, but he was still planted and got four shots in after that. That's a veteran. He takes yep. advantage. Even though he missed, a lot of young fighters will stop and don't know what to do. He kept punching. And he was erect after the first miss. He was squared up and ready to keep going. This is round three, scheduled for eight junior welterweights. Eric Jakubowski with his back to you in the blue trunks. And Jazzy Jeff Mayweather in the black trunks. Eric Jakubowski works in the steel mills. He's a crane operator. Talking tough guys. I know. But there's so many of the blue collar types around boxing. That not many fighters really can afford simply to box. Many do need a job. Much like us. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty much a blue collar town, but they love their sports and they love their, you know, they have minor league teams here in baseball and basketball in the CBA and hockey in the International Hockey League, and they support them well. And they really have been excited about having this fight show come here to Grand Rapids as well. Well, they've been given a show, too, because Roger came out, was very strong, and then finished in an exuberant way. And here is his brother Jeff really trying to load up and be even a little bit more exciting than usual here. But, you know, this is a good fight for any young kid who wants to be a boxer or a young pro. Watch the style, watch the move of Jazzy Jeff. He does everything compact, head feints, shoulder feints. He's throwing everything in there, very subtle. This is a very good fight to learn how to improve. Just a little nuances of boxing that seems to be a lost art these days. Yeah, when you talk about slipping a punch but not moving the head so badly that it throws you out of position. Just a small turn of the head so you can go right into a hook or some offensive weapon off of that. Both guys' footwork is pretty good. They keep their hands up. Crowd got bothered, but those were basically three slaps by Jakubowski. I don't know. What's the spine rule in Michigan? Hit somebody on the spine like that. Well, we said it's a tough town. I think it all goes here. <laughs> And with neither guy having the knockout record, we should see both fighters not afraid to open it up here. Neither has really landed a bomb that has worried the other. Neither fighter has a lot of power on paper to worry about. And so their offense should be pretty good. The last really recognizable name in terms of world-class fighters that uh, Jeff Mayweather fought was in 1995. He fought Jesse James Leha. In Las Vegas, he dropped a 10 round decision to lay high in that one. Oh. oh, right at the bell. <laughs> Little love taps from each other at the, after the bell sounds. Okay. 
Well, here is Giacobassi, and the spine rule is, Tony, if it's not seen, it's, <laughs> it's not, not foul. The referee should have warned, you know, spine is not the place to be hitting so If much. you can conceal the blow, what? One, nobody will two, know. Three. <laughs> it's just between you, me, and the direct TV audience. Now there's the shot by Mayweather after, and Giacobassi says, what was that for? Little love tap has been said. Round four is scheduled for eight. Jeff Mayweather, you were looking at him, facing the camera. Eric Jakubowski, screen left now in the uh, blue trunks. Jeff brings all his punches back, straight line, doesn't leave himself open if he can't counter. Jakubowski uh, turned pro in 1992. He fought mostly in Indiana and some fights in, uh, well, North Dakota. And, Oklahoma, but the only places he's lost have been when he's traveled out of the country. Well, the bigger paydays available to him there, and maybe being brought in as the showcase for his opponent. The money is good. You go with it. You try to come up with a big win, and if not, at least you got paid to fight. Well, take a look at last year, for example, just to point out what you're talking about. He fought Khalid Rahilu, who just defeated Frankie Randall to win the world championship. They fought in Paris, France, and he was stopped by Rahilu in five rounds. Jeff Mayweather moving forward. He's trying to put some pop in there, but it's just not a natural thing for him. So this really boils down to the guy with the better jab should win this fight because they both try to do it. They both try to win the same way. Jakubowski is 24 years old. That's four years younger than his more well-known brother, Marty Jakubowski, who's had 101 fights. Got a world title shot back last year. Lost to uh, Miguel Angel Gonzalez. Mayweather continues to press Jakubowski, who remains erect and circles, using a lot of the ring before he tries to jab. These guys are mirror images of each other stylistically. Jab right hand, jab right hand, move. Mayweather just missing with that right. Nice combination by Jeff. Body punch then came up to the head. Left hook got in solidly by Mayweather. And he gets more confident from that and sits down on those two shots. Yeah, he's doing most of the hard punching now, Mayweather is. Oh, but he got caught there and drove him back. Jakubowski picked the right time to let Mayweather know he couldn't simply walk in and unload. Jakubowski really has not been able to put his punches together so far. Final seconds of round number four. And we are halfway through this scheduled eight rounder at the Stadium Arena in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Don't forget, it's still to come. Floyd Mayweather, the young sensation, 19 years old, member of the U.S. Olympic team. And uh, when do you see this guy in action if you haven't seen him yet? Because he's very charismatic and quite a showman. All right, we're going to go back to the locker room now as Floyd gets ready. And Tony Page is standing by with Roger Mayweather, who we saw is now getting Floyd ready. Tony? Thanks a lot, Rich. I'm here with Roger Mayweather. Uh, pretty good performance for an old man. Thank you. Uh, you're right. <laughs> old man. I spent a lot of time with my nephew and his friends out here, and I work with a lot of fighters, so it's hard for me to stay focused on my own career because I'm so much involved with those young fighters. Are you going to continue to fight? Uh, not much longer. I may defend that title once, but as that, I think it's, it's been pretty much over for me. I don't have the time. to. I can get in shape, but I don't really have the time to, to really concentrate more on boxing. Tell us about Floyd. What are we going to see later tonight? He's a very talented kid. I work with Floyd a lot. I boxed him a lot for the uh, last five days for, for my own fight, but I could have got better shape had I started boxing earlier, but Floyd is a great, a great fighter. He got really to be one of the greatest fighters to come along. Not not the greatest Mayweather, but the great, one of the greatest fighters in the world. Okay, thanks a lot. We'll go back to ringside with Rich and Dave. All right, thanks, Tony, and uh, congratulations again to Roger. And as he 
gets his uh, nephew ready for his bout to come up. We look forward to seeing Floyd and Jeff beginning to put it together in terms of his combination punching, Dave. Yeah, he really is starting to sit down more as he got some good left hooks in earlier. And Jakubowski needs to discourage Jazzy Jeff from coming in. And when he can't do that, Mayweather is coming up in confidence. And you know, it's a point earlier. Neither guy with a big knockout record, so why not try to bombs away? Maybe they're getting that jab to work. Mayweather seems the stronger puncher of the two, Dave. Yeah, he's got much more going here. Jakubowski, not many knockouts in his career. And Mayweather, you can just see, he is getting more confident and more power-oriented as he goes along here. His combinations have been crisp. He's trying to twist, get some leverage into his shots. And he's got a guy in front of him whose punching power has not given him anything to worry about. Mayweather really dug that right hand to the body. He turned on it, Rich, and Jakubowski retreats, which just makes Mayweather want to come on some more. South Paul for a moment for Jakubowski, and then he came back to normal. Inside the final minute now of round number five. Direct TV ringside. Don't forget, Direct TV, your place to be for exciting boxing on the second Wednesday of every month. We'll have more boxing coming your way on April 9th from Las Vegas. Very little offense coming from Jakubowski. And some blood out of the nose now of Jakubowski. He's going to have to do something because Mayweather's pretty much walking through him and landing the harder punchers of the two by far. Jakubowski has slowed. Even his tactical ring retreat has slowed, which just makes him a bigger target here. Jeff wants to knock out. And there's a good left hook by Mayweather. Jakubowski momentarily stunned and he's not touching back. Referee Dan Kelly watching the two fighters as the bell sounds to perhaps save Eric Jakubowski from going down. Breathe. Hey, Eric, don't, don't box no more. Don't box no more. Listen, come on. You want this? You want this? Walk this guy down, stay close, and let your hands go. Come on, man, don't box. Walk the guy down, slip some punches, and put yours together. And don't say goodbye. Stay Boy, in this really, guy's Mayweather, face. Come on. big shots here by Come Jeff on. Mayweather. The hook coming downstairs around the side. Jack Abowski not doing anything back here. The bell really helping him out here because Mayweather is teeing off. Another angle of it as he goes up there through the gloves. Jack Abowski extremely tired. All right, coming out for the sixth round now, and some problems there for Jakubowski at the end of the round. Let's see if Mayweather can build on the momentum that he had going at the end of that last round. Mayweather, obviously far more uh, active than his brother Roger as he turned southpaw here at the start of the round. Uh, Mayweather last fought just in February, fought to Tony Duran in Las Vegas, a winner of an eight-round decision in that one. But he hasn't scored a knockout in a fight since October of 94. That's right, and it looks like he had that on his mind at the end of the last round. It was there for him. Now he goes southpaw, try to show the right hand from a different angle. Maybe he wants to fire the right hook more. But Dave, everything was working right-handed for him. He took a break. <laughs> Guys are different after the, after the break for some reason. Everything was working beautifully. So he turned southpaw. And maybe Jeff wants to put on a little bit of a show here as well. Maybe showing why he hasn't had a knockout since 1994. Jack Abowski seems to just have no zip, no, no wham in his punches at all. Looks like the legs were taken out of him by the body shots in the early rounds of the fight. 
We're not even seeing good spring in his legs when he moves to retreat. So basically, he's turned into a target who fires a punch once in a while. Mayweather beginning a gradual wearing down process a couple of rounds ago, it seemed like, of Jakubowski, and it has worked very well for him. Mayweather feeling very confident now. Look at him spinning his gloves out in front of him. Jeff's starting to have fun in there. Yeah, switching back to Southpaw. He is toying with Jakubowski now. What else was left to do? He has done everything else. He jabbed well, he's punched downstairs, he fired hooks, he's had his straight right hands. So he went Southpaw and he wants to do a bit of a slugfest here. One minute to go in round six. Can Jakubowski last the round? That's a long time. And he just seemed to be shaken up again by the punching power of Mayweather there. It would be one thing if Mayweather really needed the fight to continue to set up a big fight. But he has talked about his career is coming to a close. Maybe he'll sit down and gamble a little bit in this fight. What does he really have to lose in the long term? Mayweather has only 10 KOs to his credit in his 31 victories, but he's got a chance to pick one up tonight. The bell has sounded to end round six, and now Tony Page back in the locker room. We'll switch to him as he gets ready to talk to the very humble and insecure Floyd Mayweather. Tony. Time. <laughs> Hi there. We're talking with uh, Floyd. You ready? You all com confident? I'm ready. I'm just going to go and take my time, relax, and um, get the job done. Uh, did you teach Roger that shuffle? Uh, I ain't sure Roger that shuffle, you know. I made shuffle tonight, and if I got my shuffle, I got it from my dad and Roger. No, no, what can we expect from you? Are we going in for a long night? Nah, I'm going to shorten this night up tonight, I believe, you know. I'm going to take my time relaxing, and I hope, hopefully the knockout come. What do you think about the end of Roger's fight? I love it. Um, good ending. I'm trying to end mine even better. Can you top that? Can I top it? Yeah. I'm the top dog. Hello. Let's go back to the ringside with David. Boy, Mayweather. Certainly has no confidence in his own abilities. Uh, they, they, somebody <laughs> needs to work on him to get him out of his shell a little bit. Well, he has a chance to be a real charismatic kid. He's a showman in the ring. Boxing could use a little bit more of the characters. And here's a guy who's trying to shuffle it up a little bit here. Is Jeff Mayweather doing everything, leaning back, showing some animation for him. This is an eight-round bout, and this is round seven. Jeff Mayweather. In the blue trunks, Eric Jakubowski with his back to you right now. I should say Jeff Mayweather in the black trunks and Jakubowski in the blue. And Jeff uh, has been building dominance in this fight a little bit more as each round has gone along. He has just continued to pile it up, winning very impressively as far as the points go. He's been a better jabber. He's had more power. He's backed Jakubowski up. He's done everything but stop him. And he landed with a couple of smart little right hands inside as they were holding on to each other with one arm but had one arm free to punch. Now you see a lot of the little tricks in there by Jeff Mayweather. A lot of the things that have come in the gym and been transported throughout the family. All the little tricks these guys have shown each other. And Jack Abowski getting Mayweather to lean into a left hook there. But Jakubowski has done almost nothing offensively. It's almost like he's just happy to be here. He should be using that jab, but uh, like you said, if the opening is there and you don't take advantage of it, what's the point? Jakubowski has been stopped in three of his last four fights, and you wonder if he's starting to develop the losing mentality here. He got off to a great start, but last few fights on the on the short end and this for him was a winnable fight here tonight going in well he told us uh this was a big step up for him and uh he was honest it was a big step up he said he usually likes to slug with guys but he wanted to work on four and five punch combinations maybe yep. he's going one punch combination jeff showing off some defensive work he's ducked under three punches and walked away each time from jack Lebowski. 
<laughs> he is really working defensively now this round. A little Parnell Whitaker maybe, a little ducking down low. And Jack Lebowski cannot find him with that jab over the top. Some fighters like the big punch, the big knockout. And Jeff Mayweather gaining the same satisfaction from toying with his opponent in this bout. Lead right hand by Mayweather there. Caught Jakubowski, is having trouble avoiding shots. And again, as the round came to an end, Jeff Mayweather had the best of that exchange. Final round. Last round. Eric, right hand, left hook, again and again and again. Come on, give me three minutes. Tell me you got three minutes. Three, baby, three. Big three minutes, this is it. Come on, man. Well, Mayweather decides to make this a little bit of a defensive showcase. Move the head, Second, shuffle, out, little dipsy second, doodle. You out, can't touch me. Keeps his hands down, which you wouldn't do with a big banger. Gives him the angles, gives him the back, moves around. Gets out of there. Did everything but shuffle. I know. Jazzy Jeff having a good time in the, especially the last three rounds. The last round defensively was really showing some moves. Now he's coming out. He wants a big finish just like Roger had. Comes out jabbing very strongly. They told Eric Jakubowski just let everything hang out in those last rounds. And Mayweather with absolutely no fear, leaving himself wide open in things that would have his corner screaming at him against some other fighters, but here, he's just having fun. Very accurate with his punches. Chasing his man down. Jazzy Jeff has looked very jazzy tonight. He's taking just about every chance you can take to leave yourself open and not paying a price. Jack Abaski hoping at this point not to come up 10 seconds short the way Carlos Miranda did in that last fight. about these Mayweather, they keep turning the clock back when they're in there. When the Floyd comes out, he might be six years old when he's running around the ring and looking so young. How do you get this formula going? <laughs> <laughs> Must be the water. <laughs> Jack Lebowski in this fight only has the three knockouts and has made that impression on Mayweather, who is afraid of nothing. We are halfway through this eighth and final round and blood beginning to really smear now and become quite prominent on the face of Eric Jakubowski. Still trying to box his way through the rest of the round, although his corner people have been pleading with him not to box the last couple of rounds. Problem is when you're not a knockout artist and you're in the last round that you have to slug, that's a tough time. Then you'll just sit back and accept the L. Well, I went the distance with Jazzy Jeff. Well, he has been timid in the last half of this fight. He is out of gas. He's holding on to the left arm of Mayweather, but he's got Mayweather's arm with both of the, his, and Mayweather still has, a, still has an arm free, and the, he's punching him. The ref should be in there and breaking him. You can pull a guy's shoulder out like that. Well, for Jack Dabowski, even though he's losing, the final fell will not come fast enough. Jack Dabowski just trying to make it through that final 20 seconds. And Mayweather trying to put him away and score a late tail. Jack Abbasi should be clinching. But he's holding more. And Mayweather just can't get those arms free to punch. And there's the bell bringing this bout to an end. A hug of respect uh, from the two fighters. 
And the second fight tonight, while not as sensational, and certainly not as sensational an ending as the, uh, the our first bout with Roger Mayweather, still Jazzy Jeff seemed to go in and uh, once and again, put on ladies a show and gentlemen, before be able to probably come through with a decision victory. He fought to form. He did what brought him here. He was a good boxer coming in. And for Jeff Mayweather, a certain victory. And the knockoutless streak reaches 12, which is just the way he fights. He's a decision type of a guy, and this was his type of a showcase. Nothing wrong with that. Not everybody has that natural power. You know, sometimes if you don't have that power, you develop your craft, and you know how to go 10. You know how to use all your skills. He had a shot at the end of five. He was really going for it. The bell stopped him, and after that, he settled for the decision. Mayweather has been in command throughout this fight. They've got bear hugs on each other. And they take it easy here. Tag, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. Don't swing too hard. And here comes Jeff just pounding away. Works the body. Kind of ducked under at one point. There he is. <laughs> Making Chakabatsi miss. Well, he ducked under two feet more than he had to. <laughs> Then at the end, Mayweather going way underneath. He's got this one well in hand, just letting the hands go. And Jakubowski, very little offense from him throughout this fight, especially the second half. Good thing it was an eight-rounder. All right, let's get the verdict now officially from ring announcer Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge David Hess scores it 79-73. Judges Gary Merritt and Gerald Anderson both score it 80-72. All for the winner by unanimous decision, Jazzy Jeff Mayweather. All right, there he is, Jazzy Jeff Mayweather. The Mayweathers are 2-0 tonight, and uh, Jazzy Jeff wins the 32nd, takes the 32nd victory of his career. And whereas Roger's ending was not as predictable, this one very predictable as far as the boxing ability of Jazzy Jeff Mayweather. And coming up in the not-too-distant future, in fact, Dave, next week, and we'll be down there in Corpus Christi. I'm looking forward to seeing Gennaro Hernandez, a brilliant boxer, take on the great, one of the all-time greats, really, Azuma Nelson. Called even money for a reason. We saw Hernandez in some big fights other than De La Hoya coming back, and Nelson can beat you so many ways. So it's going to be a fight, I think, that's a very hard one to pick. Nelson and Hernandez. 